Hello friends, in this lesson we shall learn how to find the root of a quadratic equation using completing square method. Let's say product of two consecutive even numbers is 168 and we need to find the two even numbers. Sounds tricky? No it isn't. Let's solve it. Let's say one number is x and the next even number would be x plus 2. The problem given is the product of two consecutive even numbers is 168. So x into x plus 2 is equal to 168 or x square plus 2x equal to 168 that is x square plus 2x minus 168 is equal to 0. So we now have a quadratic equation in the standard form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So now let's explore an easy method of solving the quadratic equation. The method is called completing square method. Let us try to understand how this method works first. Focus on x square plus 2x. We can represent x square as a square with x centimeter side. So its area would be equal to x square. So this is a dark blue square. And say there is a rectangle with sides 2 centimeter and x centimeter. And its area would be 2 into x which is equal to 2x. This is the light blue rectangle. So the area of the whole figure will be same as the first two terms of the equation given that is x square plus 2x. Right? Because x square is the area of the dark blue square with sides equal to x centimeter and 2x is the area of the light blue rectangle with side 2 centimeter and x centimeter. So this combined area represents x square plus 2x part of the equation we are trying to solve. Now to complete the square we divide the rectangle 2x into two equal parts and bring one part below the square. Means area of each slice of the rectangle will be equal to x into 1 centimeter. Look at this figure now. This also represents x square plus 2x and we are only one small square piece away from completing a full square. And the square would have one centimeter side as we have divided the rectangle with two centimeters side into two equal halves. So that area of that small piece would be one centimeter square. So we have to subtract one as we have taken it extra. We added it which was not there in the equation. So you have to subtract it because in our original equation we only had x square plus 2x, right? So the area of this new figure will be equal to x plus 1 whole square. So we get x plus 1 whole square minus 1. If we consider the whole polynomial x square plus 2x minus 168, Replace the first two terms x square plus 2x by x plus 1 whole square minus 1 which we derived just now. So we get x plus 1 whole square minus 1 minus 168. That is equal to x plus 1 whole square minus 169. We know 169 is actually 13 square. So we get x plus 1 whole square minus 13 square. So what we have here is in a square minus b square form and we know factorization is super easy now a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b. So here a is equal to x plus 1 and b is equal to 13. So we get x plus 1 plus 13 into x plus 1 minus 13. Right. So the two factors are x plus 14 and x minus 12. So the equation of was x square plus 2x minus 168 is equal to 0. So the polynomial on the left would be equal to 0 if x plus 14 is equal to 0 or x minus 12 is equal to 0. This gives us x as either minus 14 or x equal to 12. So both are the roots of the equation. Since even number can also be negative, both are acceptable solution. So in a nutshell, let's see the process we followed. We looked at the first two terms that is x square plus 2x. To convert it into x plus a whole square form, we need a square number which was the missing square part. 
so x square plus 2x is x square plus 2 into x into 1 means we need one square that is a 1 to complete the formula in form of a square plus 2ab plus b square form and see that was the missing square part of the or the square number 1 in this example so that's how we figure the missing square part to complete the square so we write x square plus 2x as x plus 1 whole square minus 1 and the entire polynomial becomes x plus 1 whole square minus 1 minus 168 and then finally it became x plus 1 whole square minus 169 and then rest part process was easy so the main part in this method is completing the square by finding that missing value